Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I feel like crap today, but uh, it's north of 40 degrees outside today, so it's a pretty nice day. Wife and kids are away, so I better make the most of it and go outside and accomplish something. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna fire up that Husqvarna 445 with the 20 inch bar Euler mod and show you that it cuts. Uh, I'm not gonna do milling today, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fell a tree today, and you guys can watch. Also, I got um, a couple new loops for the Poulon Pro Wild thing. Uh, so we'll we'll throw the new loop on there and see if it'll cut the tree down before it cuts my leg off. Um, and then besides that, I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see what what happens. Um, I got a new filing kit, so I might I might touch up the factory ground. Um, factory grind on, on on the new chains or I just might just let them cut as they are if they cut well uh, that 20 inch chain is is cutting well um, but I said I'd show you that the oiler is working and and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna accomplish today all right so we are outside we are going to cut down this tree here uh, Please. Anyhow, Wild Thing's got a brand new loop on it. Um, I'll be posting another video on where I serviced, I pinched the bar, the gauge on the bar, so that the chain wasn't wobbly. But even after I did that, the old chain was just in horrible shape. I had three, three chains that came with it, and all three chains were just completely horrible. So I decided I was going to start from scratch. So I picked up a two-pack of uh, Dunhill chain. They were eight bucks a piece. So it's worth trying them out. Um, they don't have any safety links in them. Um, like my Husqvarna does with the Oregon chain. It's got the safety, uh, safety links on the rakers. So I'll have to pay attention to that and got to be careful. Uh, might be prone to kick back, but I'm curious to see if the saw is finally going to cut straight because it hasn't yet. Um, and of course, this is the 20 inch bar. I'll confirm it. It's the same bar that I put on in that my first video. Uh, the new chain cuts beautifully right out of the box, so... I'm not, I'm not too concerned about its performance. Um, so we're gonna cut the tree down with this one, and then we're gonna cut the limbs with that one um, if it cuts straight.
All right. So I screwed up a little bit. I let it set back. So I gotta go grab my uh, my wedge quick. All right, so I screwed up and my wedges are uh, about six miles from here, so I'll have to improvise. Probably not the brightest thing to do, but we'll get the tree down. Like I said, hinge wood's still intact, so we're relatively okay. had to wait for the right gust to wind. Let's go check out the, the hinge. So I didn't do it exactly right, but I didn't die. So, oh, the wood's kind of frozen a little bit. My whole, I didn't get any Actually, that's pretty damn good. Here, let me put you in the other mode so you can see it better. So I can see what you're seeing. Just a second. All right. So very little pull out. Obviously, that's all down here. It folded over. And, uh... Yeah. Ooh. That one's got some bark inclusion. Wonder if this here's a walnut too. Maybe an elm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out when we cut her open. Oh man. Look at these rings. Maybe I'll cut some biscuits off of this. Yeah, that's some nice stuff. 
Hey, I also worked out. My $8 hatchet came through in a pinch. At some point in time, my fiberglass handle is going to fall out of there. Uh, oh, I need to, need to sharpen the damn thing. Anyhow, uh, that was my $8 hatchet running special. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It come down just fine. It wasn't a super huge tree. Uh, let's see here. Let's see how big it is. This way. Uh. Oh, we're about 18 and a half this way. About 24 and a half that way. So that's the way I'm gonna mill it. Here's the long skinny way. Cause I'll probably end up turning these boards into uh, flooring quite possibly. Judging by those rings uh, and how they lack uniformity, I might have some nice figure for flooring. So, anyhow, it is now time to check and see if that pool on is going to cut straight. I haven't even had to add fuel or oil to it because it hasn't cut enough to use any. Let's find a spot for you guys to hang out. mostly straight it's not doing too bad carburetor needs some adjustment I think my next Amazon purchase is gonna be the carburetor tool I tried using some of those uh, plastic butt connectors and getting them to form and it was just a huge pain in the ass so I'm gonna buy the $5 tool and call it good uh, I might splurge and spend $12 and get 18 tools we'll have to wait and see uh, anyhow it's it's cutting remotely straight uh, I wouldn't say that that $8 chain is completely awesome but I'm sure after a few sharpenings and it getting broken in it probably won't do too bad but it kind of jumps back and forth um, it's pretty aggressive might be a hair too aggressive for for that 40 cc chainsaw but uh, and comparing it to the 445 it's, it's actually not doing so bad uh, so yeah it's 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 gonna get its abuse with the 445 so you guys can compare.
shabby. Uh, I don't know if you saw the chips flying off or not. That's the way a good tuned 445 should look like. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to shut this off for now and save my battery and, and uh, my memory card space. And, and maybe we'll have a long mile here after a bit. Um, got to take a break from the logging outside uh, due to my illness. Usually, usually can only work for an hour or two for most of the week at a time. So, but just to do a couple recaps is is uh, I'm certainly going to be ordering a set of felling wedges um, or making some. I got some hickory. Uh, some fairly dry hickory that I, I could probably make some some uh, felling wedges out of. Um, I was actually going to hold off doing that until I had um, a draw knife, but uh, I might just improvise a way to do it with a hatchet or any of the number of other tools that I have in my arsenal. Uh, I got chisels and so on and so forth. So I could easily make a, a set of wood felling wedges. Uh, and if I do, I'll take you guys along for the journey because it'll be a learning excursion for me too. Uh, anyhow, uh, uh, my hinge wasn't exactly perfect. It was a little thick. Uh, but as, as it turned out, it actually turned out to work out pretty d darn well. I mean, it controlled the fall. Um, my notch wasn't perfect. Um, there was about a half, three quarter of an inch step in the back, but it was clean. Um, so no, no Dutchman going on there per se, um, because the hinge folded over. It was about that thick that folded over, and then, and then the wedge closed up and. Well, you guys saw it. Uh, not exactly perfect, but it worked for what was going on there. I had I had one long branch hanging off to the side that um, I was aiming to miss the trailer house with, and and um, once I heard it crack twice, I just kind of walked away and, and and waited for a gust of wind to come up and take care of the rest because I was all out of wedge. There wasn't much else I could do. And I honestly did not want to put the saw back in there um, due to the state of the hinge. The hinge was was almost perfect for that particular situation, but I wouldn't call it perfect for every situation. Um, certainly one of my cleanest um, stumps yet. Uh, very little, very little pull out or whatnot it was all it, it, it broke uniformly in the bottom of the hinge uh, at the bottom of the step so that was that was actually kind of nice uh, and the stump was a little frozen so who's to say how long that tree had left um, before it met its demise anyway uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing you know what the wood looks like once it gets uh, cut up I haven't decided how I'm gonna slab it because I got a number of different crotch opportunities there, um, and I'm still learning how to mill. I've, to date, I've only milled two trees, and they were kind of small. Uh, but aside from that, you know, the the thirty dollar chainsaw is cutting like a thirty dollar chainsaw. But I can't really complain about it once I got the eight dollar uh, chain on there. Um, I got a feeling the rakers need to be worked with just a little bit. Um, because it, it seems to want to bite real hard, and then it bogs the chainsaw down. And, and again, the, the the carburetor needs to be adjusted properly. Um, the day, the last day that I adjusted it, it was like 20 degrees below zero. So I'm gonna have to adjust it back for for the warmer temperature, anyhow. Um, but aside from that, as a limbing saw, it'll work just fine. Um, and it, the, 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 the chain itself and the saw, it was, it was throwing good chips and not as, not as nice as the, the Husqvarna, but, you know, maybe we could get there. A little bit of tuning, a little bit of porting. Um, 
you know, dressing up the chain real nice so that it's taking a consistent cut and whatever. But overall, it, it did pretty good. I've seen videos of 445s cutting as poorly as that Poulon. So I'm actually shocked every time I see a 445 video because it, it don't cut near as quick as as my particular saw and I've abused the whole living crap out of it. Um, anyhow, um, I'm just resting up, letting the the phone charge, let my body recharge. My allergic encephalomyelitis sucks. Um, and then I may or may not go back out there and finish cleaning up the tree and and uh, contemplating my next video. Um, but hopefully I'll get this one and another one um, posted. Um, the one where I was dressing up the bar on the Poulon. Uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get that one fixed up and, and posted and then uh, we'll see what else happens. Just improvising away. Uh, have a wonderful day, folks.